Hello again YouTube, Mad Dog here. So I've got a uh, little bit of potassium permagnetite and some standard house sugar, both of which no doubt you'll carry in your bug out or survival kit hopefully. Obviously sugar in your brew kit, potassium permagnetite in your uh, first aid survival kit or fire lighting kit. I've got equal measures, sorry about the lighting in here, it's terrible. Um, roughly equal measures on this piece of wood and put it on the old baking tray here to demonstrate a piece of a round dowel any stick that you've cut off I'm just going to roughly mix them up nothing too flashy or fancy and then just grind Get there in the end and hopefully as you can see through the friction that's caused by the grinding I've got myself a real nice chemical fire now that burns really hot and fierce get your kindling onto that and you're good to go so another little potassium permanganate fire lighting tip this one's not as common as the glycerine use that a lot of people demonstrate so I just thought I'd quickly show you that one share it with you I did struggle to be honest here because again like I've said in previous videos my chemicals you know the the years and years old and they're stored out here in this damp shed so it's not a brilliant demonstration normally you can get a pretty good friction fire established you know within seconds a couple of strikes with this so again keep your powder dry as they say and uh, but you can see it does work if you use fresh dry chemicals it really is easy so anyway thought I'd quickly share that one with you um, check out my other video um, for fire lighting and the medicinal purposes of potassium permagnetite because there is a lot of first aid uses for that chemical there's an antibacterial antifungus water purifier etc so it's well worth carrying as well as fire lighting so check that video out um, that's it for now mad dog signing off Thank you all very much for watching as always. Take care. Signing off. Yeah.